So today I have another book review and I'm going to be talking about The Virgin Suicides by Jeffrey Eugenides. So this book is told from the perspective of a group of men, they're unidentified, you don't know who they are, but 20 years prior they lived in the same neighbourhood as the Lisbons, a family, mother and father and their five daughters. These men were and still are extremely obsessed with the Lisbon sisters and the whole mystery behind them and why each of them committed suicide. And throughout this book there are references to exhibits like photographs and articles and items surrounding these girls that these boys had collected and basically they've just tried to piece together the puzzle of these sisters but they don't necessarily succeed there's still so much mystery and so many unanswered questions about their lives about who they are and also their suicides this book was only published in 1993 but i completely understand why people refer to this as a classic or a modern classic it is just superbly written. It just completely draws you into the story and it wasn't a very fast-paced novel. Not a huge amount of things happen. Just even in the descriptions of the most mundane things, the boring happenings going on in this neighborhood, you are completely sucked into the story. And it all comes down to the writing style. It is just perfect, absolutely beautiful. Like I said, not a whole amount happens and even still you know what is going to happen at the end of the story. You are aware of how this story is really going to end, but even still you want to know why, you want to know how, you want to know more about these girls and why they did the things that they did. The mysterious aspects of it, it's just, it's so captivating. So in this book the narrator transitions between quite factual, emotionally detached retellings of these boys' observations of the girls to moments of really intense curiosity of reminiscence and wonder. It was a really interesting comparison to see and especially when it came to the girls suicides. It was quite a confronting thing even though you knew it was going to happen it was still quite shocking but there was this emotional detachment you there was a bit of a disconnect. I didn't really feel heartbroken or really upset about the loss but neither did the boys because although they seemed so involved in their lives and they were so obsessed with these girls you kind of come to the realization that no matter how much they seemed to try and dig themselves into these girls' lives, you never really knew or completely understood who these girls were. They never completely opened themselves up to these boys. You'll never be able to learn the whole truth about the Lisbon sisters. It was just beautifully, beautifully written and like I said, it wasn't a very fast-paced story, but I couldn't put this book down when I picked it up. I just absolutely flew through it. So overall, I gave this book four and a half out of five stars. Just absolutely stunning. The writing was superb. So unique. So, so beautiful. It was it was just wonderful. I really, really enjoyed it. I'll leave a link down below to where you can buy this book on the book depository through my affiliate link, but if you have already read it, feel free to leave your comments down below, your thoughts and opinions. And I also wanted to ask for those who have also watched the movie if you'd recommend it, if it was any good, because I'm definitely interested in seeing the movie, so I might do that. But yes, that's all that I have for this review. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!